Hey, welcome to another Three Point Diesel production. Today we're going to be doing some routine maintenance. We're going to be showing you how to change the fuel filters, the primary filter and uh, the secondary filter, or uh, actually the inline filter, which is your secondary filter, and then the primary filter, which is the spin-on filter. Um, this is a very common item that needs to be changed um, if you're driving and you notice that you're starting to lose power a lot of times it's because this filter gets clogged so I always recommend that you keep spares with you keep a screwdriver some rags and uh, of course the blue nitrile gloves to keep you clean because uh, on a couple of occasions I've had, had to uh, stop and change these filters so it's a very easy process I have a uh, Phillips screwdriver which is all you really need for this I've got some rags underneath it loosen it. Now you can clamp this off so you don't spill or you spill as little as possible. I've actually got the, the fuel tank drained on this car because we've done some other work recently but getting ready to put it all back together now. Okay so we've got our inline filter out. So I've got the new filter. Just pop that in to place. Tighten it up. And the next thing you got to do is prime this filter with fuel from the tank using the primer pump is right here. But first we're going to change the uh, spin-on filter. So you need a uh, 24 millimeter wrench for that. And this should be full so again make sure you have plenty of rags underneath here. And I just, I'm just removing the bolt because this way I'm going to keep some of the fuel from spilling. Okay, so I've got the uh, filter out and uh, this is the bolt that holds the filter. You can see there are a couple O-rings here. This one in particular is kind of uh, worn out, so we're going to go ahead and replace that. I've got some picks here. Let's see if it comes right apart. And I ordered a new O-ring with this kit, this filter actually. I'll just slip that in place there. Okay. All right, now I'll go ahead and put this back together. I've uh, pre-filled this filter just to make priming uh, less of a less less work from priming the uh, fuel. So, um, and I've also got a thin coating of of oil on the gasket as recommended by the manufacturer. Alright, so now we're going to reconnect that. And with and always with the in any type of filter, never over tighten. Get it hand tight and then Don't over torque it. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to prime the filter by pumping this primer pump. Now there's a couple different kinds of primer pumps on these cars. This is the newer style. Easy to replace if you've got the older style, and you could see it. you could see the fuel filling in there. Okay, so we've got everything together. We've got our um, we've got our filter primed. We've got our um, spin-on filter in and snug. Now we're going to start her up and see if we have any leaks.
perfect. So there you have it, how to change the fuel filters on a 1984 vintage Mercedes-Benz 300D turbo diesel. Thanks again for watching a three-point diesel production. Rate us, com comment us, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Mm -hmm.